This channel is sponsored by Creality. Creality has all of your 3D tools that you need to bring your ideas to life. Scanners, printers, and even engravers. And there's very cool things that you can make with them, such as a little boat, a vase, or a vase, a little supercar, a full-size supercar, Start your journey at reality.com. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Another cold day. <laughs> um, anyway, I've uh, been doing a little bit of work on the McLaren, and so I was going to show you guys where we stand with that, um, and basically moving forward to, you saw that we had the exterior mostly done, and uh, I say mostly done, but what I mean is, is that we've got most of the prints finished. Now we can go and start fixing things that are not quite fitting just right. So you saw that we were working on the doors. Uh, we've got to shim uh, one of the hinges and do some stuff there. So at any rate, um, what we're going to talk about today is basically for those of you who are new, we're going to show you this, which is where we started. And then after a lot of 3D printing, this is where we ended up. And also uh, we've got an engine in it and also a transmission mount and other things. They still need to be buttoned up. I still need to do some final welding on those. So we'll get to that probably this week or next weekend. Um, and then there's a structure that I have done for the tonneau cover that um, I'm doing some more finish welding on uh, and buttoning that up since it was just kind of a tacked together structure. So let's go take a look. So I'm basically um, welding it all together and then sanding it smooth and then eventually I'll paint this. So. Uh, we're getting that all together, getting it all boxed in and everything. Okay, so on to the 3D printing. Um, I've got this uh, dash uh, shroud that uh, is all 3D printed. It's uh, specced out for the uh, liquid crystal display that's going to go in here. I'm getting that from LCD gauges. Link is in the description. Uh, he's doing a bespoke uh, layout for this uh, dash shroud and the main dash and then also for the infotainment system which brings us to the actual dash of the car and let me zoom out here so you can see it a little bit better the infotainment system goes here there's a couple of um of uh, vents that go there i've got those on order and then the infotainment stuff we still have to print which will go there and that'll be a little touch screen just like in the uh, real 600 LT. Uh, you can see we've got most of the dash in. Um, as far as uh, fitting that in there, ignore some of the repair work. Um, remember that's going to all go away once uh, we end up body working this and getting it ready for carbon fiber. I do have the inner A pillars. I put those in, made sure that those fit nicely with this. They do. Uh, so that's going to work out really well. Uh, I actually got for Christmas from my mom um, some door cards are coming. So I've got actually two uh, 570S door cards coming that we can make look like the 600 LT because I think they're almost identical. And uh, that's another uh, nice feature that we'll have for the interior. Uh, we'll also see that I'm printing the uh, center console for this uh, uh, interior. Um, so that's all getting together. The other thing that we have to do is obviously we have to finish this window surround because I did have to 
chop it up a bit because it turns out that that surround has to be around 40 inches in order to fit the uh, OEM McLaren windshield, which is what we're going to put in here. And I used, uh, I'm going to use the same company that I used for the Aventador. Um, they're called Chip Pros. Uh, so there's a link down in the description so that you guys can go to them. Great bunch of guys uh, did a fantastic job on the Aventador, uh, very professional. So I encourage you to go check them out. And then we've got uh, the tub, obviously, that we have to do. I can't find this anywhere. There's uh, other uh, builders that are doing uh, McLarens and they're having the same problem. Uh, so I think I might end up 3D printing mine. I already have the model already done so that we can 3D print that. And that might actually be the best way to go because I can just make some adjustments for the P1 hood so that we can get that arrow uh, flowing from the uh, front up through the nostrils here um, to give us that same kind of downforce uh, coming through the uh, hood there. Now, one of the other things that uh, I've done is now you can actually see the Corvette engine kind of uh, nestled up in here. Um, and basically, I've been kind of getting all of the harnesses out of the way so that I can see what's going on up here. Um, we've got hose here that goes up against this uh, piece here but that's actually not being crushed or anything. And this is just being basically pushed up into this firewall material. So I think we're okay there. The other thing was to locate the um, ECUs. So the first one was the transmission ECU, which I've done here. Um, that's actually, I think, where the ECUs go on the McLaren. So we just made some of our own holes and mounted it there. It mounts there nicely. The uh, harness drapes nicely into there and goes through this, uh, this little piece right here. And then the next one is the uh, engine harness, which is over here, which we've kind of run through this area. Now, I think this is where either the TCU or the ECU for the McLaren goes. And what I have done is I've had to actually mount the ECM down here. Uh, on this bracket uh, because uh, there's not enough room up here for when the quarter uh, rear quarter goes on top. So um, mounted it down here. Um, obviously, I've got to do some adjustments. I've got to put some standoffs and whatnot in there and sure up that mount, but that's where it's going to live. Now on to getting this thing running. Um, we have a lot of dangly bits here which i'm gonna to have to figure out where all this crap goes um i do have the uh, wiring diagram so i can sort sort that out these two uh right here these are for this th these go to the actual body computer which i don't have but these are going to have all of the power um and relays and triggers and all of that kind of stuff for the ecm like for the fuel pumps and whatnot so we'll make sure that the power goes to the right spots and we'll just keep moving forward and see if we can't get uh, this thing to fire up. With the fuel pumps, it's real easy. I'll just throw, put a switch in there to turn them on, turn them off, um, just like a race car for now uh, until we can figure out how to trigger them from these. But again, I have the wiring diagram, so hopefully that will sort that. The other thing is we've got this interference issue here uh, with the uh, throttle body so I'm gonna have to make some sort of manifold um, and then get the uh, uh, you know move the air cleaners where they need to go on either side so wait for that so the other thing I picked up uh, here is I picked up the uh, wiring harness for the two pumps I am actually assuming that these two pumps work but we'll test them uh, to make sure that they do and uh, basically we've got ourselves a fuel tank. So this is a standard fuel tank from one of these McLarens, uh, should go in OEM. Um, and then the harness, I just need to wire up so that I can run the fuel pumps and uh, read the sensors. Back into my disaster of a 3D printing room. Um, 
we've got uh, my Sermoon D3 Pro cooking along. It's doing uh, one of the last panels for the uh, center console, which you can see over here. So this is half of the center console that we've got printed. So, and now we're printing the other half of the center console, which is over here. So we're gonna get all those parts together. Um, and our K1 Max is over here finishing up this piece on the uh, mirrored half. So uh, that'll come out pretty soon. Uh, these printers have been going at an industrial rate, cooking along. And again, a big thank you to Creality for uh, allowing us to use these printers. Well, they gave them to us. <laughs> um, but they've been a great uh, channel partner and sponsor. So a uh, big shout out to them. Thanks again for all that you've done. So guys, uh, that's it for this one. Um, give you a shot of the Aventador in the background. Uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple of weekends, I'm gonna get that guy out. Uh, we're gonna do some scanning and finish the uh, some of the interior parts on the Aventador. And that's getting in preparation for starting to finish the body and uh, get it painted. Um, and then I need to take it down to uh, the state patrol office and, and uh, get it VIN inspected and all of the things that they need to do to get licensed for the road. So, and then hopefully we'll start going to some shows uh, this spring or summer. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do uh, hit that like uh, thumbs up and also uh, the bell notification uh, alerts you when we have new videos coming out. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.